All right, hey guys, how's it going? It's Big Al here. This is today's wacky situation, all right? We are playing eight ball. This is an eight ball situation. Eight ball is right here. Uh, 14 ball is right there. It's exactly, it's a half a diamond out of the side pocket and it's two balls off the rail, okay? Now, I am high ball. I'm not on the eight ball yet, okay? So I need to make this 14 and try to get shape on the eight ball. Have a look at the situation from above. All right, you can see how the uh, the 14 is a little bit off the rail, just outside of the side pocket, okay? And uh, the eight ball is about a quarter inch off the rail, and the cue ball here, situated at diamond number two, is also about a quarter inch off the rail. I'm going to show you three options to make this ball and three safeties. You have to decide whether it is better odds for your game to play safe in this situation or to go for it. Keep in mind, the question is, if you go for it, can you also make shape on the eight? not leaving yourself a bank okay so which means you need to get the cue ball into this zone or into this zone to have a cut to either corner if you can't it doesn't do you much good to make this ball in my opinion okay so if you can make the ball and shape great and if you can do that more than 75 percent of the time great go for it I also have four inch corner pockets, so uh, it rattles quite easy, all right? And uh, banking this shot is not easy uh, either. Even pros on four inch pockets probably will rattle that ball 50% of the time, in my opinion, okay? So, safe or go for it. Let's look at three different shots to go for it, three different safety shots, and I'll tell you my percentages on them uh, because I've done each of them 10 times now. And I, I've got a good idea of how consistent I am on each one of these scenarios. Hey, it's okay, guys, to know and be honest with yourself about your percentages. Don't just remember the one or two hero shots that you pulled out last year and think that you're going to do that every time because you're not. <laughs> you have to be honest with yourself about the odds of you making a shot whether it's a safety or a go for it shot you have to be honest about the odds okay the shooting percentage odds again making that ball is not that hard um, but you also need to make shape on the eight or it's kind of useless you're better off leaving your opponent the long bank shot <laughs> and uh, um, setting up that ball then you are making that ball and leaving yourself a long bank shot. Understand? Okay, so let's get in to the three different go for it scenarios, okay? Okay, number one, the most obvious shot really is to cut it to the corner. But in order to make shape, you have to get uh, some left spin on this to bring it to my left. And you have to elevate a tiny bit too, okay? If you don't elevate, chances are you're going to leave the cue ball in this zone somewhere here and it won't be that great now also when you're nearly on the rail or on the rail and you're playing left or right spin you are more susceptible to getting swerve <laughs> meaning the cue ball is going to slightly mass a little bit on you which makes the shot a lot harder okay so i'm going to elevate just a little bit here i'm going to play left spin and I'm going to aim a little thicker on this ball because I know I'm going to get a little swerve. Okay. So I overcut that because of the swerve. So I massed it out a little bit. It made me overcut the shot, even though I was actually aiming thicker on the ball. Okay. So it's not that easy. Let's try it again. Okay. This time I'm not going to elevate. I'm just going to play left spin and try to keep a level cue. All right, you see I almost scratched, 
We almost made it, but we do have four inch pockets, so it makes the shot a lot harder and it rattles out. Consequently, I got lucky and I did leave my opponent a fairly hard bank shot. All right, we got it. And to be honest with you guys, I did it 10 times and I only made the ball and the shape one time. So it's a 10% shot, even for me. <laughs> okay, just being honest. Okay, shot number two, a bank corner over here. But if we want shape, I'm gonna have to jack up and play backspin. It's not that easy. And if you miss the bank and get the shape, you sell out the game. You need to get both. <laughs> Otherwise, it's not worth going for it. Okay. I just rattled the bank. I sold out to my opponent. See, you're starting to get this picture now. You need to get both or it's your sell out. It's not good. Hey, we got it. Third try. Now, what happens if you make it, but you don't get enough backspin on it? All right, now I'm left <laughs> with a pretty difficult bank on the eight ball. And I don't like going this way. I'm actually going to come back this way so I don't double kiss. And we sold out. Okay, and the third go for it shot is actually a single bank here. Now, this isn't an easy shot either. <clears throat> to actually cut this without any spin at all, it's almost a 90 degree cut. It's about 80 degrees, 85 degrees. Not that easy. So it is much easier if you play a little bit of right spin, outside spin on the shot. It's going to help bring it in towards this side pocket. Um, but it's not that easy of a shot. So here, let's see what happens on the first attempt. Playing right spin, hitting it pretty thin. We got a double kiss. <laughs> I did have it going until it double kissed. Again, this isn't a very easy shot. <sighs> Again, <laughs> pretty hard to get rid of that double kiss. Wow, finally made it. <laughs> Took about 12 tries to get it without scratching either here or here or double kissing it. I mean, I did make it in the side from the, the double kiss one time, but it's also a low percentage shot. Okay, let's talk about safety play, all right? A safety is not necessarily hooking your opponent. It's leaving them a hard shot, trying to leave them a hard shot, a low percentage shot, and making sure that your ball, you don't pocket it, because it's a lot easier to play safeties. Uh, if you have a ball in a pocket somewhere or in the center of the table, it's difficult for your opponent to play safe on you. Okay, so it's nice to have a ball that you can set up. Okay, so uh, you can leave your opponent hard, but it's also equally important to leave yourself easy, <laughs> okay? So this one, I'm just gonna thin it on the outside here. Try to bring the, the object ball into the center of the table and try to leave the cue ball close to the rail. It's probably gonna come off a little bit, but if you hit it too thick, you'll scratch in the corner. Okay. I did leave my opponent a bank, but you know what? Are they going to make it every time? Well, if they do, I guess they earn it. Uh, I had a slight little double kiss there. Okay. It's not the easiest bank in the world. Okay. Let's try to get the, the hook this time. I'm going to do the same safety. 
but let's see if we can actually get the hook behind the 14. Stop, stop, stop. Ah, just came out. Okay, and you could also do this safety, not trying to get the hook, but just trying to leave the cue ball as much on this short rail down here as possible, okay? So you just have to determine the right weight. And distance always makes it harder. Okay, I'm a five, six inches off the rail. But uh, if I hit a little softer, I might have been right on the rail. Still a difficult shot when it's nearly frozen on the rail. Okay, <clears throat> and my favorite safety. All right, I'm gonna, uh, I'm about 90% on this one. I'm gonna miss the 14 on the way in just barely and hit the backside of the 14 on the way out from the rail. It's going to bring the cue ball down towards this short rail, bring the 14 ball somewhere center table. Hopefully we don't make it in the side pocket because I don't want to sink this ball. <laughs> I want to keep it up on the table. I want to set it up. So here's what it looks like. Okay. I like that shot. And I, I'm nine out of 10 times, I basically can get that result. Okay. It's not a safety that a lot of people uh, would think about playing because you're actually kicking at the back side of it. Pros would definitely play that safety. I've seen it many times. Uh, but the key is you want to set up your ball. And you know what? You can even get the hook. About three out of uh, uh, four out of ten times, I actually do get the hook. Okay, guys. Again, it's pretty easy and it works like every time. Okay, that's not too bad. You definitely don't want to leave it frozen to any rails, especially not the short rails, <laughs> because then it becomes real easy for your opponent just to play safe on you again, all right? Uh, you do want to leave it makeable to at least five or six of the pockets on the, on the table. Um, it's even better if it's like center table, <laughs> but uh, you just don't want to leave it like here, because you could be in trouble, okay? Okay, and if you want to go for the hook on that shot, just do that same shot, but a little bit harder to bring the 14 back to the center of the table. Perfect. Okay, and the last safety, number three, is cutting it a little bit over here so that the 14 kind of comes out uh, back to center table, playing some right spin on it so that when the cue ball hits the rail it's going to go towards the short rail okay i, I don't really recommend this because there are a few things that can go wrong you can accidentally pocket the 14 and you can accidentally scratch over here too <laughs> but it is a possibility all right this is what it looks like Ooh. came close to scratching as i was saying but it is a possibility all right, so that is safety number three. Well, almost got the hook, not quite though. All right, and for you guys that say, oh, that's an easy bank. I can make that all day long, 10 out of 10 times. Well, I <laughs> think you're lying to yourself, but uh, let's try it five times. Back here this time. All right, guys, so that's three different go for it shots and three different safety shots. Um, yes, there are some other two and three rail bank shots and things like that. Uh, I'm talking about the higher percentage, uh, more uh, <laughs> practical go for it shots. And I also went over the three most practical safety shots. So if you have another one in mind, absolutely feel free to hit me in the comments, okay? If you like this video, 
please hit subscribe to our channel. It helps us out. All right. We'll talk soon, guys. Till next time.